So let me ask you just a very basic question. Do you regard Catalonia as a region or a nation? A nation. A nation, quite clear. Ah. And you also recognize, I guess, as Spain did in a UN uh, covenant from 1976, which Spain signed, you recognize the right of people to have self-determination. So if you recognize that right, and you recognize that Catalonia is indeed a nation, then I am struggling to understand how you cannot allow the Catalonian people an authorized referendum on their right to self-determination. Let's once again use the right words. It's not autodetermination, it's secession. First, the Spanish constitution doesn't allow for it. It is a sentence of the constitutional court saying clearly you can ask about secession, you can ask about secession, but every question you want to put about it has to be done on the framework of a constitutional change. Second, there is nothing in the international law that gives Catalonia the right to secession, in spite that Mr. Torres saying that every day is completely false. Only in Abyssinia, in Ethiopia maybe, or some island in the Caribbean, the right to secession is recognized. And in the international law, there is no basis at all for that. Well, there are some lawyers who disagree with your take on that, but, but, but in a way, this is about politics as much as it is about a fine reading of the law. What do you think it says? The fine reading of the law is quite important. Well, it's not unimportant, I agree with you. Politics is important too. What do you think it says about Spain today that you have in Spanish prison nine activists, Catalan politicians, who it seems are going to face trial on charges of sedition and rebellion in October? What is that saying about Spain to the international community?